So we're on the Alaskan Highway and we're just leaving Dawson Creek and going on to Fort St. John. And it may be a long road, but at least it's not completely straight. Just approaching Taylor just before we get to Fort St. John. And we're going down into the valley. over the Peace River. We're at St. John's and this is our boom docking place. I'm going to be here for about uh, three days I think. And I've got a little swimming lake. I've already had a swim in there. Nice water. Trailer, truck, and all that is their farm. The horses, I believe, mainly. There's a little lake down there. And I said there's lots of little lakes on the property miles and miles of trail if we want to walk it and canoes to borrow to paddle in the lake. And I think there's a cow. Yep, there's a cow. spy the Rockies right in the background again. In the little town of Hudson Hope, they reckon they're the land of the dinosaurs and dams. Actually, going to go out and see a dam on the built on the Peace River. So he has a plaque for Alexander Mackenzie. He became the first person or the first European to cross the Rockies in continental North America. He, of course, was looking for a route to the Pacific in his canoe. So we've come for our tour of the dam and Robert will give you more viewing. This is one of the dams on the Peace River in BC and of course uh, they're building other dams as well. In fact on the way here there's a lot of construction and bridges and changing of the road. It's all because they're flooding the valleys put up dams and therefore they have to build a new road and hi a higher road with bridges on. The view of the Peace River Valley Dam. And, um, it 
it's not always positive. So there's always two sides to the story.